Hello everybody, hope you are all doing very well and welcome back to another technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be covering Ethereum, Bitcoin and the stock market after a brilliant Monday of trading. You all know Monday is my favourite day of the week. Why? Because we have the stock market open, we have the cryptocurrency volatility and I've had the weekend to plan out my trades. <laughs> so I really love Monday and today has lived up to its expectation of giving us that volatility across all markets. Okay. So yeah, with that said, let's, let's jump straight into Ethereum here. Um, and I do want to cover the giveaway that I'm doing at the end. So stay tuned for that where I'm going to link this into a question and answers as well. So uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoy, uh, enjoy this and I'll cover that at the end of the video. So thank you, everybody. <laughs> um, so yeah, here on Ethereum, obviously Ethereum and Litecoin were the lead bulls, in my opinion, over the last month. OK, we obviously had the Ethereum, Ethereum runs along with Litecoin, both of them running and then Bitcoin following suit and following the lead bulls of Ethereum and Litecoin. And now it seems that they it switched around and Ethereum and Litecoin are the lead bears, okay? Obviously, we had this very bearish price action over the last few days on Ethereum, okay? Just being dragged down totally, obviously breaking support uh, today and, you know, moving down. Where did we find support? Actually, extremely, extremely nicely here on the uh, six, you know, the golden pocket. You know, that's a perfect bounce off of the golden pocket here, uh, combining with this horizontal support, okay? So, we had, obviously had the golden pocket combined of these horizontal supports, OK, so there was big support here for Ethereum. So that's why you get a short term, you know, you know, you get that you get this bounce off of this level. OK, so that's what's going on here. Just finding support very nicely off the 126, you know, for really down to 125 psychological up to this 618 golden pocket. That was a big support level that Ethereum's holding. That's from the fibs taken on the low on the 6th of February up to the high on the 24th of February. OK, those fib numbers. We had the golden pocket. We had horizontals holding support psychologically of 25 as well. OK, so obviously we did find that bearish price action being held down by the daily 8 and 12. You didn't just see how price could not get above the 8 and 12 exponential moving averages. OK, so that's a big bearish sign there. A big bearish sign there. <laughs> um, you know, price just unable to close at all, being held down. Bounces were getting weaker and weaker and weaker. You know, ends by a sell off. Where did we find support on the golden ratio? OK. Bitcoin's not looking as bad, okay? So obviously Ethereum did take a, you know, a quite a steady, <laughs> steady, but steady, but big move down today. OK, but uh, obviously Bitcoin held lower support. OK, so we look at Bitcoin here and let's zoom into the one hour chart. You know, we see Bitcoin obviously holding the bottom support that, you know, it had during that sideways range on the 27th of Feb. OK, obviously holding 3,640 here. So lower support is still holding on BitMEX. OK, so that's it. You know, that's a, a, you, how you can distinguish between the two. Obviously, Ethereum more bearish than Bitcoin, which is held support. OK, and um, so that's just something to note there that Bitcoin held support, Ethereum and several different um, altcoins obviously lost their support levels today. Uh, you know, uh, altcoins get destroyed. <laughs> um, but there were some nice opportunities to play certain alts. OK, certain alts did get very nice bounces today. OK, so there were opportunities to play bounces. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, my whole focus of the majority of the day uh, from two o'clock was the stock market. I went heavy on it today because we well, depending on how much you follow me in discord and, and stuff, I'm not sure whether I because I don't really speak about it too much here. But obviously over on Discord, I have the whole section of the stock market, which I actively well, actively I go into occasionally and, and say what I'm doing. Um, and if you were aware of, of what I do was doing in, in that, I might obviously I took a short. OK, I took a short uh, last week when we hit two thousand eight hundred and twelve. OK, so I you know, this is on the S&P. OK, SPX market S&P 500. OK, I took a big short, a very big short at two thousand eight hundred and twelve. And the, what happened here, let me just zoom in and show you all because I added to this and it's worked out beautifully, <laughs> beautifully. OK, what happened here? We moved up to uh at 2812 and I took a big short because I thought we were going to be coming down heavily coming down for this C wave okay what happened today was just amazing so obviously this the region that we we're looking at of 2812 why I originally took my short position here um was offered a 786 fib and actually and also on you know we have the really really strong horizontal region uh, at this level as well so there's a confluent reasons for me to open the short originally but what happened today on the stock market here or well, the S&P 500 oh my mouse is so glitching OK, we obviously moved up and today we we come back down. We found support of the 55 exponential moving average on the hourly. OK, on the hourly 55 EMA price came down in an ABC here finding support. OK, really did find support of the 55 for another bounce. But what happened today? Let me show you. It was absolutely beautiful, really beautiful price come up again. 
price came up again to take out the highs okay took out the highs ended on this doji spinning top candle okay not just that we had massive massive bearish divergences across the board rsi you know here price forms a higher high you know you get a higher close here higher high on price bearish divergences across the stochastics the rsi and the histogram and the macd lines themselves okay we had bearish divergences across the board on what was already a massive resistance level okay and that was well, ding 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 in my ears and uh you know adding into a big short here and obviously that's played off very 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 nicely wasn't expecting such a rapid sell-off but you know i was happy to see the rapid sell-off that occurred with those bearish divergences on the resistance you know perfect and then we obviously have seen this massive sell-off that occurred okay this is billions this is such an amount of money that you're losing here okay it might not look a lot when you compare it to cryptocurrency but it is millions billions of pounds coming out here okay obviously price finding support again at the 100 moving you know 100 exponential moving average on the one hour chart okay i just want to zoom out to the four hour chart and show you something here if you're interested in the s p uh obviously this has happened before where we saw price where it came up slightly above the 65 before you know price came down heavily and on the four hour found support on the, the uh, 26 exponential moving average before it obviously recovered so um that's why i've took a percentage of profits here on the 26 because just to protect myself although i still am bearish on this uh you can just see here how price come up found support of the um 26 exponential moving average on the four hour and did continue okay so today again we you know i took a percentage here i've not closed out my short by any stretch of the means but took a percentage of profits on the 26 again just in case um basically just to protect myself if we do come up again okay so that's how i'm seeing that but for me i am still bearish on this but uh just you know you want to recognize signs of when to take profits and for me you know seeing what happened last time this was a big sell-off in the time as well obviously gapping down coming down on the 26 but did find support there um and i mean longer term over the over the last few months there's definitely bullish momentum still here but we are reaching massive support levels uh, but today when i saw you know when i was already on this i've been itching 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 to long the vix uh, and my obviously the uh, volatility index and my time come today i actually took a long on it last week as well and then today it made a lower low and uh yeah i took another long on that and that was uh up about 25 percent okay 25 percent long on the uh, uh profits on off of the vix market <laughs> um yeah lovely um also i shorted boeing i like to trade boeing um square i took a short in as well which actually didn't work out so well my my square short did not work out well so i lost on my square short but obviously won massively on the s p uh boeing and the volatility index um so i did lose out on that square short but uh, up on the day massively so you don't win every trade that's important to, to realize you don't win every trade as a trader uh, as long as you get more wins than losses it's fine but look at this on the vix that is absolutely massive okay that is a massive 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 bounce okay 27 percent in total just crazy uh crazy 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 but this is one that i've been you know you know i'm not sure how, well i don't know how much you will follow me in the stock market but you know i've been itching to long this as it was obviously it came down in it on the weekly it looks even worse look at this on the weekly okay just absolute sell-off here ended with you know inverted hammer followed by a nice move up just really really nice um yeah and i'm happy about the volatility index so it's one of the ones that i love to trade because you know you just get these sudden 20 percent moves out of nowhere okay so you're just grinding down grinding down grinding down and you know it's going to come you know it's going to come it's just getting in at the right time um you know you know here obviously when you sort of see the, the at the at the time the, vol the volatility index wasn't up high at this time when you had just formed a higher you know obviously moving up on the higher high with the massive bearish divergences you want to get in before the pump okay and then, yeah then the pump insured with this downwards movement so it was just a perfect day trading uh the stock market okay and this is like not hard technical analysis this is really easy technical analysis uh literally just bearish divergences coming down to 100 exponential moving average 26 on the uh on the four hour chart like not hard at all um and you just need to know what you're doing with the volatility index and know when to long at the right time and it's really you know it's not difficult okay so that was a good day of trading overall um yeah really really enjoyable and then that well yeah g going back to cryptocurrency i know most of you follow me on cryptocurrencies so that's why I, you know cover it a bit more but um obviously found support on this um on on a i'm mainly concentrating on ethereum because for me it's the lead bull or bear right now um but obviously ethereum coming down on that golden pocket finding really 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 nice support on the six five there uh obviously now finding support again off of the uh 12 12 exponential moving average okay uh so that's just uh something to keep in mind uh, what i wanted to do with this video 
uh, was, where is it? Uh, here we go. On Twitter, obviously, I'm doing the giveaway. And this is going to be on Friday. So write it in if you would like your calendars. So it's going to be on Friday the 8th. And I will do this about 7 p.m. I'm going to start at about 7 p.m. So Friday the 8th at 7 p.m. I'll be doing the giveaway. So this will be um, randomly select, randomly generated. I don't know. I, I'm thinking about doing a number between like 1 and 97 or how many entries we have in the total at the end by Friday. 1 and 97 and randomly generate a number and then whatever person is selected. How do I... I might need someone to suggest me a better way. I don't know how I can see all 97 people because this isn't 97. Okay, someone might have to uh, let me know how to do a nicer uh, retweet. Uh, that's what I was going to do, randomly generate a number between 1 and 97. Whoever that was on the list wins. Um, maybe I can find a better way. But yeah, it's all just going to be randomly done at the time. So totally random selected. And this is going to be done on Friday the 8th. Uh, and just to say a really massive thank you, you know, today obviously I had the video that I uploaded earlier was my most disliked video ever. I had a lot of people hating on the video. Um, you know, all I tried to do was upload a educational video of Elliot Waves, just helping people understand how to do uh, complex counts. It was a very complex count. Um, I, I thought I was helping by doing this and people were extremely annoyed by me uploading a uh, Elliot Wave count, which was not my primary count. <laughs> um, I found it remarkable that people could complain about that when it's just educational content. But um, yeah, it's just remarkable. Um, you know, but I know the majority of you, that's why I wanted to do the giveaway because the majority of you are really big supporters, really big, you know, fa you know, fans, I guess, or, you know, you find this content helpful. And for me, my, the, my motivation is helping all of you. Okay. If with the, the motivation that I get from, you know, the, the comments, the majority of comments of people saying that I'm really helping them, that I'm, you know, changing their lives, that they're learning so much through me, uh, that they've made money through me. It's, you know, that's my motivation to keep going. And that's why I want to give back to say thank you with this giveaway which obviously the main prize is going to be the the one-on-one -on -one coaching which is going to be extremely beneficial for the guy that wins I know um so yeah I just wanted to give back and just just know that I do know the majority of you are very supportive and for me it's my motivation to keep going with this content bringing you the content um because yeah it makes me really 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 happy to to read it all um so yeah that's that's my motivation and uh that's what we're going to be going over on on friday at 7 p.m the giveaway and i want to also make this into a question and answers session okay a public sort of question and answers for you all so what you can do is on this video below on the YouTube comments just write a comment uh, of a question and I will get back to you obviously if I have loads of questions then I'll do the highest thumbed up so if you read a comment that you would like or you would also have thought about asking the same just thumb it up just give a thumbs up if you read a comment that you like and I will take the highest voted comments I guess if I get a lot if I don't get a lot then I'll just you know obviously work through the ones or if you want to leave a comment on Twitter then just uh, leave uh, leave a comment on Twitter. But it's probably easier on, on YouTube in the description below. Leave a comment. And that Friday uh, giveaway session will be also a question and answers and a nice just, you know, community sort of spirit where there we can come together and, you know, celebrate uh, celebrate 5,000 followers, which for me was yeah, a massive achievement that really does make me happy to, to know that I can have this reach of helping more people. You know, for me, it's uh, never expected it and made me extremely happy. So you'll, you'll know that I really appreciate you and I respect you all. So, um, yeah, yeah, thank you so much honestly um and yeah I'm, I'm i'm happy and i'm feeling good and um yeah ready to make some more money on crypto and the stock market now um so yeah i uh, hope you hope you all enjoying the educational content and uh yeah i'll catch you in the live stream which is going to be friday the 7th and uh yeah leave a comment if you would like to be seen in the question and answers uh with that said i'll go and upload this video now and get back to some trades <laughs> so thank you everybody so much cheers bye <laughs>